am honored to receive the official endorsement of the National Association of Police Organizations, which is the largest in our country. It represents 250,000 police officers nationwide. It's such an honor to get it. To me, that's a great honor. To me, that's something that means the largest anywhere in the United States. It's the uh, greatest people. I'd like to ask their president, Mick McHale, to come up and say a few words, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mick. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am truly honored to stand before you today and on behalf of the National Association of Police Organizations, I am pleased to formally announce NAPO's endorsement of Donald J. Trump for President of the United States. As president, President Trump directed the Attorney General to aggressively prosecute those who attack officers for simply being in the uniform. <laughs> president Trump, he signed the Law Enforcement Mental Health and Wellness Act. And ladies and gentlemen, that's protecting the protectors. <laughs> President Trump also signed the ability for surplus military equipment to once again be used to protect you, the citizens, not to take your rights. One of the most important things that the president did, he recognized, he recognized that the men and women who provide public safety, who are part of law enforcement, deserve the same constitutional rights as the people we serve. <laughs> Mr. President, once again, we are proud and pleased to support your campaign, and we are here for anything, anything that you ever may need. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.